It doesn't matter who your opponent is, how big they are, how monstrous they are. It doesn't matter what they say about your life, about your ability, about your body. All it takes is a shot of courage to awaken explosive potential within you. You carry the blood of those who came before you and you will carve your own experience into it. Whether you're on a different planet or in a different universe. No one can beat you, that being you. So, a couple of months ago, my wife came home, and Jesus Christ was I pleased to see it. This is easily one of the best new figures that I've seen in a long time. Aside from just brazen fanboyism. And it's kind of hard for me to tell you why. Aside from all the, the sass and the power, there's just this level of polish and detail which tell me Michelle is a thing of beauty and not to be trifled with. Where do I even begin? From expertly sculpted hair to perfectly shaped glasses and skin that feels almost ceramic to the touch, the level of detail that Good Smile went to is plain to see and it's all neatly capped off with that character-defining expression of mild disdain. They even went as far as to have her unzipping her jacket in preparation to kick all of the ass, which emphasises that there was absolutely no corners cut in her production. Doing this gave our eyeballs a direct line to the suit underneath her jacket, allowing for more of that intricate detail and exquisite paint job to be shown off. Just look at those hands as well! The gold lining that runs its way around the figure is top-notch as well, when I see something like this, I expect to see runoff as a matter of course, but here it's kept to an absolute minimum, to the point where you would only find it if you went out looking for it. Just having a flat white with some subtle shading variants clearly wasn't enough here, as there are some delicate blue tones at the top, which is contrasted nicely by a gentle brain mixed in with the bottom of the tails, to symbolise the arduous journey on Mars's harsh landscape. And this can be seen on her shoes as well, with the rest of the white that makes up her outfit being so clean, these little marks give the whole thing a sense of history. And just look at the varnish effect on the side here, both on her torso and on her upper thighs. It's this variance in not only colour, but texture, that really makes this figure stand out to me. Sure, other figures have variants like this too, but nowhere near to this level. Looks like Michelle's brought a passenger along with her as well, but this terraformer has clearly seen better days. The fact that Good Smile pulled out all the stops for what is essentially a glorified base accessory completely boggles my mind. More than just being brain bred, he's clearly been blown up by Michelle's special ability as a blast ant, evident by the foam from his mouth, and the other 66% of him likely being scattered around the topography of the area. Combine this with the empty syringe that she's nonchalantly holding, and you have a complete figure that does more than just have a sense of action. We all know that I like that, but no. What we have here is a figure that tells a story. We have an officer of Annex 1, who, after who knows how long of trudging through Mars's treacherous terrain, comes face to face with the enemy, a beast who sees her as nothing more than a fly on the wall. She injects the medicine, and the results of the MO operation and her father's blood show themselves. There's no contest, and we're left with Michelle standing, facing whatever else is out there, in a stance that says, Who's next? Terra for Mars is one of my favourite series of recent time, so the fact that Michelle has been given this treatment is really heartwarming to me. While it would have been nice to see her fully transformed with her big chunky arms, I don't have any real complaints. Even if they just make an Akari to go with her, I'd be perfectly content with that. He could even come with the other half of the Terraformer, that'd be hilarious. Yeah. 